Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Question about the Adams Wright 8600, okay. Yes. Um, right now we have uh, one that has the end cap dogging in it and one that has the center, and my boss is wanting me to replace. Can I get just, I seen you all had the bar assemblies without having to buy the whole rods and the whole nine yards. Uh, what I'm looking for, she's wanting me to change those, if we could, to like a key, a cylinder dogging on those instead of the hex key. They keep wallering the hose out. And where we're a rural area, you'd be surprised at what the local company charges us. They replace the whole bar every time instead of getting the nine dollar part and putting back in it or the you know, the end cap for it. Yeah. Um so she yeah, just okay. to replace it with the cylinder dogging if I can, but see I don't need the whole unit, I just need the push bar itself. Right, I, I understand. What the order. Sure. Um, so let me pull up the 8600 series information. Okay. So the 8600, okay, uh, it is available from the, the device is available from the factory with cylinder dogging when it's ordered that way. What I don't know is if you can field retrofit hex key dogging to cylinder dogging. So what I will do is, may I ask you to hold and I'll just call them right now? Well, they, I've got a part number. You can, but see, I oh. have one door. Uh, the push bar is in the end cap, and you cannot retrofit those. No, yeah, you're number, going to have to. Yeah, mm -hmm. The part number for the retrofit is a 91-0099. Okay. Yeah, that, that is definitely a valid part number, and um, it is. Well, I got uh, that right from Adam's right website so okay then then yeah it, uh, yeah that is a that is definitely a valid i mean that's a valid part number um it's a cylinder they call it a cylinder kit those items are standby Those items are in stock, and they're ten dollars and twelve cents. Okay. The instructions they sent me from them said all I had to do was to drill the hole out. But uh, so I'm on your all's website. I've already got in the car a push bar for another door. Uh, just put that part number in. Yes, sir. Nine one dash zero zero nine nine. Okay. Uh, next question. Uh, since the one is in the end cap, I cannot use this on it. So, what can I get just like the push bar assembly without having to get the rods and everything for the door, or do I have to replace the whole thing? You want to, um, to change it back over to where either I can use this or order it with the uh, cylinder dogging already in it? Well, I'm not intimately familiar with the 8600, can you just replace the end cap dogging with a standard end cap and then perform the standard conversion? No, it, the, everything inside is different. The end cap is, the center oh, dogging it comes is, that in, way. Yeah. is right in the center of the push bar. Yeah. The end yeah, cap yeah, yeah. is in that little yep. cap piece. And I see all the, the, the linkages and everything run the wrong way. But and does your device still have an access hole in the push bar assembly for dogging? No. Okay, I understand. It came from the factory that way. Um, yeah. That is that is a question that I do not know. I I need I would be more than happy to uh, contact the manufacturer and ask 
we, what is the path of least resistance for that? Well, I was going to order, you know, the whole push bar assembly if I had to, but I was trying to do it the cheaper way to see if I could get just the, you know, the new push bar without having to get the whole assembly linkages and all. Mm -hmm. What was the question? So, would you like to hold? I'll find out. Yes, thank you. Stand by. Okay, so um, the answer is. Yes, you can buy that entire horizontal assembly only, uh, and the cost would be based on, you know, the size of the door and then the finish that you require. Okay. I had to, I'm sorry it took so long. I had, to, I had to go through two separate people for this. <laughs> That's okay. I'm sorry to bother you. Not I've at all. never fooled with the doors before. I'm the maintenance man here, and I work on a little bit of everything here, but they've always contracted the doors out. And like I said, they usually charge us about four or five hundred dollars for the part, and then labor to put it in every time they fix their doors. And like I said, that's like the uh, every time the Allen key gets stripped out in one of them, I found on here one of the end caps is like thirty-five dollars instead of putting an end cap or something on one. It's like they changed the whole assembly out, and it's still four or five hundred dollars. It's unnecessary. It's part. like getting so, a nail in a tire and replacing all four tires. It's just unnecessary. And that's why they wanted me to, to try to figure out to see if I could do it myself. <laughs> that's why I'm aggravating you. I'm sorry. Not at all. But uh, all righty, yeah. Uh, I just need to measure the length of it, right? And uh, then we need to know the finish. Uh, the finish is just the clear aluminum, but. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you could hang on just a second. I didn't think to measure that door. Or you want me to call back or? Go ahead. I'll be happy to hold. All right. Hang on. You there? Sir? E yes, sir, I am. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, just the metal part of it is 32 inches, counting from end cap to end cap, 34 and a half. Well, okay, so yeah, you would order a 36 inch device and you would cut it down. Okay. Which is how, how that would, would be done. Um, Okay, yeah, so that is that push bar assembly. Okay. That device is offered in 30, 36, and 42, and you go to the next largest size and then you would trim it back. Um, uh, or what we would do is we would just specify that 
Um, yeah, no, they're going to make it third. They're going to make it for a three-foot door. Um, let's take a look at the installation instructions and see what you're going to contend with in terms of cutting that down. Because I don't know if they will um, accept a uh, a specific size for that bar. Okay, 8,600. All right. Okay. Device installation. Uh, so the door you cut it. Right, uh, exactly. And that is on their installation instructions. Um, yeah, yeah, the page that I'm looking at, upper right hand corner, which is a document, um, they, uh, a document number 80 0180 51. So yeah, you would you would cut it to length, um, and that's that's listed there in terms of how to go about doing that. Um, yeah, okay. Down. I printed on myself here. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look. That's going to be clear aluminum. Okay, that device is $120 roughly, and if you like, I can tell you how to find it in the site. Yes, please. Okay, so type in Adams, A-D-A-M-S. Okay, I've got a bunch of the 8600s pulled up here. Okay, so let's start the search over so, I, so you and I are looking at the same page. Okay. Um so type in Adams, A-D-A-M-S. Okay. Hit the space bar once and then the number 8600. And let me know when that page loads. Got it. Two, Put four, back where I was. eight, sorry. Go to the eighth item down and you're looking for the one that ends in 628. That was the one I was looking at. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at that, and I didn't know if it would work or not. But yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the business end there. That's that's oh, and then you would um, you would still need the kit uh, is what you would need. Okay, yeah, I've already got it in the card to kit. So, alrighty, and you know, do y'all have on the cylinder locks where we have the two doors? Can we order two locks uh, keyed the same? Just sure. So key lock for those. Yeah. So you have a pair of doors, and you want cylinder dogging on both. Um, what I don't know off uh, absolutely is the length of the cylinder required. So let me see if I can quickly determine that. Okay. Cylinder. Dogging, optional cylinder dogging. So they don't tell me exactly what cylinder is needed for them. Maybe they do. Uh, accommodate cylinder lengths. Um, yeah, they don't list the the perfect uh, length cylinder here. But let's do this. Um, Bear with me. Let me pull this up. Do you have a particular key system that you use? Uh, right now we're using. Uh, oh Lord, starts with an F. Uh, Schlage. 
No uh, Falcon key system. It's the IC cores. Oh, okay. So do you want to do IC core on those doors? I can, yeah. It uh, just whatever, just whatever fits, yeah. So I know usually you know, to to get our store keys to work, we'd have to send the key in and have them keyed, you know, fit our keys. But right now, I just need as long as I have a key that fits that door. You know what I mean? I do. So the bottom line is I can I can give you a part number that's going to solve that. And then, you yeah. know, ultimately I can sell you the mortar cylinder housings to go in there. You can then have – who do you have, a, do you have a, like a local locksmith who does your, your pinning work for you? Uh, no. Uh, we've never used one like that. Usually what we do – see, we go through our Cardinal Glass company here that does glass installs. They also do the uh, – door hardware stuff and usually okay. i have to take them a key they send it to wherever they get their stuff from they key the locks for us send it back to them and then either they deliver them to me or i have to go pick them up okay so you can obviously continue doing that um you can also you know um the these, we prov these are just going to lock the bar open to keep the door open so customers can go in and out. So it doesn't have to be keyed. With the key to get into the building, you know, uh, works to open the door up. But this is just to lock the bar open is all I need this, this lock for. So that's what I'm I saying. Understand. It could be a different key. It doesn't have to work with our building keys. Okay. So um – I'm going to give you a part number for the cylinder. In the future, you can make those devices on your building uh, keying system. I can play no role in that, or I can do it 100%. Um, that area happens to be something that I'm, um, I'm, you know, qua uh, trained and qualified in. So the part number to get you uh, to what you need immediately, here's okay. the part number to enter, 7185. Seven one eight five. S C one. S C one. Dash. Okay. Uh, seven one eight five. S C one dash two six D as in Delta. Two six Delta. And then let me know. Uh, please click enter or hit go, and let me know when that page comes up. Okay. When that comes up, scroll down to the one that ends in KA2, and it's going to be in about the middle of the page, KA2. KA2, got it here, 1287 piece. Yeah, and you'll need two of those, and those will automatically be key to like. When I see the order, I'm going to make sure that that's the absolute correct cylinder. And the only thing that would make it not is maybe the length needs to be a little shorter or a little longer, and maybe the cam needs to change. But I will make those changes when I see the order, if, if necessary. Okay. No problem. Uh, view my cart here. Uh-oh. I managed to miss two of the parts, but I'll go back and add them. I've got the part numbers written down. I've got my first bar in that one, but I didn't get the 628 bar for the 8600. I didn't put it in the cart, and I didn't get the retrofit kit. 628 push bar, add to cart. Did you add it? No, it didn't. I've got my door controls push bar. I've got my locks. But it, for some reason, it's not one to add. Okay. The 628 push bar, it won't add it to the cart. <laughs> oh, so. It's optional. Well, uh, let me take a look. Uh, ins oh, insert door width. That's where you got to put uh, 36 inch. 
in that um, in the insert door width about an inch above the add to cart button, put some value in that box, and then it will allow you to add to cart. Okay, it went in that time. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, let's put that nine one dash zero zero nine nine the retro kit. Ships directly from the company. Okay, I've got it here now. I've got everything on it. Awesome. All right, it looks like I've got everything here now. Cool. My name is Richard. If anything pops loose, breaks off, shakes, shakes away, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thank you for calling. I appreciate your help. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.